Now, the question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the member for Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Deputy Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise to support the member for Barara's fine motion in relation to Army Reserve bans here tonight. And it's interesting to follow the parliamentary secretary. Uh, I do want to start from the outset by saying I was a member of the first 15th uh, Royal New South Wales Lions system. For the parliamentary secretary to suggest there's any difference between uh, a regular service and re a reserve service, I think, is a falsehood. It is, in fact, a hallmark of a free to society to have the citizen soldier at its disposal, a hallmark. And the 21 battle honours of the first 15th, the most decorated regiment of the Australian Army, mm -hmm. uh, a fine testament to that regiment and all of its men and serving men and women over the years. Um, Mr Deputy Speaker, this particular motion relates to the bands, and the band forms part of the rich Australian cultural heritage that has developed through the Australian military. This band formed in 1891, and even in 1891, before a Commonwealth, before a Federation, £250 were received from the New South Wales Government and £150 from the Commonwealth Government. If it was good enough in 1891 to fund this band, what is wrong with funding it today? Mr Deputy Speaker. The service of the band has been recorded in the regimental history over more than 100 years. This is a regiment that has lasted the test of time, has seen the service in 21 different conflicts in defence of this nation. The rich tapestry that has been formed by the band um, goes to show in the strength of our local community in Parramatta. And it was extraordinary to see the member for Parramatta come into this place and speak against the local Parramatta regiment, the 1st 15th Royal New South Wales Lancers, based at their historic headquarters at Parramatta. Extraordinary for the member for Parramatta to come in and here and say that is an army decision. Mr Deputy Speaker, this is a direct decision of government that this motion relates to tonight to fund the Australian Army and its reserve forces to be able to conduct its duties in Australia today. And it is the responsibility of this parliament to call to attention those deficiencies that come about when funding is not available for the reserve forces. And Mr Deputy Speaker, we can fund it in 1891 with pounds from the New South Wales and federal governments, but we can't afford to fund it today when we have $10 billion for a clean energy finance corporation, but we can't find instruments for people to play in their regimental bands on our Anzac days and our memorial services in our community to help recruit young men and women to these reserve regiments to serve as citizen soldiers, to follow in that fine tradition of the Roman citizen soldier, Cincinnatus. I'm not a, I'm not a soldier, I'm a farmer. The Minutemen, privateers in Elizabeth and England, England, free societies have been dominated by citizen soldiers. And the 1st 15th Royal New South Wales Lancers is a fine example of a citizen soldier regiment, giving us great service. And these people in the band don't do this for the money, Mr Deputy Speaker. I might make this clear. They aren't in this for the money. They do more service and more voluntary activity than the government can ever possibly fund. We've heard from the member for Herbert about the dedication and voluntary and selfless service that these young men and women provide. And for this government to say that there is no funding available for these great reserve regiments, for their bands, and that affects many bands. I have the minute here from Australian Army headquarters. These are the regiments affected in one brigade, 5 RAR, 7 RAR, and 7 Brigade, 214 LHR, in the 2nd Division, 1st 15th Royal New South Wales Lancers, the 4th 19th, the 23rd Field, uh, sorry, uh, 23rd Field Regiment, the 2nd 10 Field Regiment, 87 RVR, the 56 RVR, the 9 RQR, the 1027 RSAR, the 2nd 17 RS, RNSWR, the 25th uh, slash 49th RQR, the Q Q Queensland University Regiment, the Sydney University Regiment, the University of New South Wales Regiment and the Australian University Regiment. All of those reserve regimental bands. For the parliamentary secretary to stand here today in this place and say somehow they'll find the funding that they should be the result of a charity case is really demonstrating a lack of understanding of the importance of these reserve regimental bands and how they operate. These people are already volunteering a lot of their time, mm -hmm. already volunteering a lot of their effort, putting their hearts and souls into these units that provide the social fabric at the heart of so many communities in their local communities around Australia. That is what a reserve regiment does. That is what a citizen soldier regiment does. It provides the core at the heart, another social uh, set up that provides unity and cohesion in society without the need for government to be involved. Mr Deputy Speaker, if it is good enough to fund the RNSWR Lancers in 1891, 250 pounds from the state government, 150 pounds from the federal government, it's good enough for us today to continue that fine tradition, 110 years of dedicated and selfless service of this regimental band and all of these regimental bands that I've mentioned in all of their societies all around Australia, serving our nation 
doing us proud, providing invaluable service to our community. And it is a great motion here before this House today to support Order. them in what they the do. Time has expired.